Today we're going to clean my dishwasher filter, which is normally I would clean my dishwasher filter once a month, but I've been saving it for you. And I actually haven't cleaned it for three months and you're in for a surprise. So one of the dirtiest places in your house is usually going to be your dishwasher filter and your washing machine. If you have a front load washing machine, your washing machine seal. I always tell people that and it's just like those are the two dirtiest places in the house. And what do they have in common? They both have water that sits. So not all dishwashers actually have a filter in them. If they're an older model, they'll have a built-in garbage disposal so you don't have to worry about cleaning your dishwasher filter in them. And remember like all appliances are different, but most dishwasher filters are located right here when you open it up. Okay, and then see how it has some little arrows telling me like to twist it right. So it's gonna be righty tighty to tighten it, lefty loosey to loosen it. And you just pull it out. I'm prepared to be shocked because it is disgusting. So this is so disgusting and feel free to judge me all you want, but I haven't cleaned this since April 17th and today is July 12th. I was specifically saving this for a YouTube video because I knew I needed to get it like extra, just whatever. Like you can't just build, we can't make this type of dirt. This is swamp sludge, really. To clean your dishwasher filter, all you need is some bleach and a scrub brush. You don't want to use anything else like Mr. Clean or dish soap because it has a foaming agent and then when you run your dishwasher afterwards, it's going to like create a whole foam party and leak out the bottom. So just trust me on that one. It's bleach and water and that is it. So let's get to work. This filter is extra disgusting. You can twist this part off and then it just pops off. But first things first, I'm just going to use the pressure from the water to film off or to spray off all of this slime. Okay, so we still got a little bit of gunk stuck everywhere. I'm just going to splash some bleach on it. Wear gloves when you use bleach always. And I'm going to give it a scrub. So I'm going to correct myself actually on this one. You can use vinegar in your dishwasher, especially if the hard water fill or the filter is like built up with a bunch of hard water deposits. So it'll look all white and crusty. Mine was slimy, so I'm going with bleach, but you can't mix like bleach and vinegar together because that makes like a gas and it's a really bad idea. So it's one or the other, okay? So now let's just get scrubbing. So look how clean that came with just a little bit of bleach and a scrub brush and it's like sparkling clean. So we can put it back now. Okay, now we've got this all sparkling clean. We just have to put it back safely. So all you do is line it up. It kind of has, has to like click into place, see that? And then you've got these two arrows. You are gonna go twist until they line up. Make sure it's on nice and tight so it doesn't pop out when you run your dishwasher cycle. We try to tell people to do this once a month, clean their dishwasher filter, because it just keeps your dishes clean. It keeps your dishwasher working well. We've seen so many dishwasher filters that are completely clogged up. This is gonna just like maintain the health and ecosystem of your dishwasher. Ecosystem. <laughs> Once everything's put back together, you can add one third a cup of bleach to the bottom of your dishwasher and run the hottest, longest cycle that you have. This is just gonna get rid of any like germs or bacteria, funky smells that you might have going on in your machine. And we recommend that you clean your dishwasher filter and do the bleach cycle once a month. And that's how you clean your dishwasher filter. Does your dishwasher filter look as disgusting as mine? Let me know in the comments after you clean it.